All right, welcome back, my dear students. In this lecture here, I'm going to show you how to turn on errors on PHP. So that way, when you get some type of error in your code, that you can see it. Uh, you can see exactly where it is. All right. Some of you should have this by default, but I have found out that for some reason, some of you don't have this turned on. So what we need to do is go to your local host. All right. Some of you are going to get redirected to. Let me see where I have mine. You're going to get redirected to this page right here. I'm using MAMP, by the way. Uh, actually, ZAMP. All right. So what I'm doing here is I'm going to go to my PHP info right here. All right. If you don't have this screen here and you're using some type of other, some other software like MAMP or WAMP or something like that, what you need to do is create a file. And I'll show you right now. Let me just open my editor. And I'll show you what you need to do. All right. Actually, let me see if I can use a temporary folder so that I can show you. I'm creating a folder here. I'm just going to dump, dump it in here. And I'm going to show you how I do this. So I created this folder called example in, in my HDDocs. Okay. So make sure that you, you know what your HDDocs, HDDocs is. Okay. So right here, I'm going to create a file. I'm going to call this, I can call this whatever I want. I'm just going to call it test.php. All right. I'm going to open my PHP tags and I'm just going to put a function called PHP info right here. This is a predefined function that PHP provides for us to check to see our servers, right? So I'm going to go to my local host. And like I said, some of you are going to get redirected. So make sure that you put your local host, the file, the folder name and the file name, right? For your path and then enter. And this is going to take you to your server information here. All right, there are a couple of things that you need to be aware of. First is to display the error. So I'm going to do command F or control F, depending on the operating system you are to search on my browser for display underscore errors. Okay. Make sure that this is on, on your system. I'm just going to make sure that it's based so you can see it. All right. Make sure that it's on. All right. If it's now on, what you need to do is you need to go to your HD docs. Let me use actually to your, it's not HD docs actually is to your application, wherever you have your XAMPP folder on my mind. Well, some of you have MAMP or WAMP, but what you need to find is your PHP DNI file. All right. Mine is going to be in etc. And right here. All right. So find out depending on your development environment, where your PHP DNI is. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it to my editor. All right. And I'm going to search right here. So I'm going to use my search feature for my editor. I'm going to go and find, and I can just do command F or control F. And I'm going to find display underscore. And you can see when I click find, it says right now that it is on. All right. So make sure that it is on. If it's off, change it to on. All right. You see this? It says error displaying right here. All right. So make sure that your display errors are on. Let me see if we can find another one. Right here is another one. Make sure that this is on. And you can see right now, if you put a, a semicolon here, this is not going to work. It's going to comment this out. So make sure that you have a, that is like this. So I don't have any more display errors. Only this. And this is actually, this is not the one that is actually working. It's this one here for me this one. All right. So then when you save it, command F uh, S or control S, then what you need to do is you need to restart your server. So in my case, let me see if I can get this out and show it to you wherever that is. I control manager. I don't know what mine is. Let me just see if I can find it somewhere here. All right, I'm going to do it the hard way then, right here. Just find it somewhere. So what you need to do is you need to find your control manager. For some reason, I can't find mine. I don't know where it is. Actually, right here. I'm sorry about that. Right here. There we go. So find your control manager, all right, and whatever um, software you're on. 
and start the services. Stop them if you have them running, and then restart. Okay? So restart your services, your MySQL and your Apache, and then those functionalities will be on. And make sure that you come back to your file here. Make sure that they are on. All right? So every time you update your PHP.ni, you need to go back and restart your servers, and then everything will be working. All right? So also another thing that we will be using is called output underscore buffering here. I just wanted to point that out. And my value is 496. So again, you can go to your PHP.9 and search for output buffering. As you can see right here, I have it on already, searching for it. Find, and you can see that mine right here is 496. Make sure you save it and restart your servers, okay? So I just wanted to point that out. And uh, good luck. I'll see you in the lecture in the lectures. Take care.